Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Sorry about that. Uh, easier to do it this way to just have a recording. And what I'll do is go through the same presentation that I was doing. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to email us directly or contact us and we'll be able to respond. So again, today is Thursday, August 18th. Things are going very well. It's the most productive month that we've had. I feel like we really have momentum, that the building is coming together. Um, it looks fantastic. And I have a lot of updates about anticipate opening, grades, things of that nature. So I'll just go through a few things to start. I'll give you some pictures and then give you a summary. And of course, if you have questions after the fact, please feel free to email myself, any of the principals, and we will get back to you. Uh, so at this point, the activities for this week, we continue the installation of the air conditioning units in each classroom. Remember, there are two units. There's the air conditioning units and there's the energy recovery units. Uh, all of those items are on site, which is critical, except for one small unit event for a small classroom. So we have almost every single space except for one available, and we have all of the energy recovery units available, which means that we're going to be able to work through the October 15th deadline. So that October 15th concern about being able to circulate air through the window, uh, through the um, vents rather, as opposed to having the windows open, because we cannot say that we're getting fresh air through the windows post October 15th, that is no longer a concern. So we have all of the items in place. The wiring has continued for the air units. That's really a critical part, the wiring, because that connects to the chiller. So having the items in place, having them installed is a huge positive, but now it's connecting the wiring. We're in the process of doing that. Uh, the mill work for the C and D labs, the hallway C and hallway D labs are continuing. It looks great. I'll show you some pictures, but those are almost completed as well. The mill work furniture for the shelving install and additional mill work items. When I say mill work, I mean furniture. That is almost complete. Teachers have started to come in to clear out the contents. We have the music room that now is totally available. We've continued the punch list procedure. Uh, with all the contractors. So we're fine tuning each of the punch lists for the variety of contractors, delivery and installation of the classroom furniture. And we've continued with the doors. I remember I mentioned to you earlier in the summer that the doors may actually be a concern. The doors are no longer a concern. I want to thank our building inspector, Bob Rush, who talked to the door uh, people who were installing them. We were able to get an approval on a fire rating. So all the doors are here and are being installed as well. We had a meeting this week with Dave Hainelt, who is the fire marshal assigned to our region, Creskill and other regions as well. He walked through the building, feels very positive about it, and we really have made remarkable progress. So I, I appreciate his kind words. The painting of the door frames throughout the school is happening. Again, that's a detail, so it shows us the point that we're at. And we have delivered and received 24 energy recovery units, which was the last batch there that we needed to get in. So uh, we're fine tuning at this point. We're beginning the chiller startup. And we're receiving bids and opened our bids today for the media center and the auditorium. So really, the main issue that we're looking at now over the last two weeks, uh, the main issue that's going to occur is the cleanup. It is the cleaning plan. We have an outside company. Our maintenance team has been A plus across the board. I would never go with any other group of custodians and maintenance people than we have right here. But this building of 111,000 square feet needs additional help. It, it can't be done by just one group. So we're going to have a cleaning service come in as well and assist. Um, and we're moving forward. So, so far, it's been a great, great August. What I'll do is I'll share my screen now and I'll give you some of the pictures as well that we have. So here's a picture of the media center. I'm sorry, of the uh, the choir room, which is great to have the choir room back. It's sort of a centerpiece here of the entire uh, building. So to have that back and furnished and have those, those stairs and those seating areas ready, we're, we're excited. We did have a power shutdown and cleaning of the switch gear that happened over Friday and Saturday. We shut down power to the entire building and had to have the final large parts of the switch gear for the electrical part of the building cleaned. Power was shut down, was restalled, uh, was, was put up again and, and completed. Our media center floor is being poured. Uh, what you see here is muscle wall. Muscle wall is directly related to our mitigation measures. These are barriers that are gonna be placed around the building. So when we hear anything that rain could be coming, we'll be placing these barriers around the critical parts. To us, the critical parts are those by the flagpole between the B wing and the main hallway as well as along the C wing by, of course, the mechanical room, the boiler room, and the, and the louvers. So we have 
$40,000 of muscle wool on site and ready to be deployed. They're light. We place them. We fill them up. The fire department has agreed to help us fill up with the fire hoses and they're ready to go. So that's our mitigation measure. There's a closer picture of the muscle wall as well. Uh, okay, what I will show you next are some new pictures that I took today, which was very excited about. So here are the inner workings of the school. So you can see this is a classroom. You have your Univent, you have your uh, energy recovery unit, and you have the chairs with the black and gold chairs, which are really nice. We didn't have those before, just the plain blue. Desks are starting to be put in the rooms and the whiteboards are being deployed as well. Next up, we have the tables across the board with the chairs that slide in. So this is a computer classroom that again is being fine tuned. Of course, we have wires and cleanup and the floor has to be clean, but you're starting to see furniture that will allow us to put these students back in. And of course, the ceiling panels will be closed up as well. That's sort of the last step for us is the ceiling panels, which is why not every room may have technology to start the school year, because we are, that is the very last part, working on that wiring, not only connecting the wiring with the chiller and the heat, but also the technology is the final piece. We really can't fine tune that until we get to this final stage. This is our cafeteria. It's nice to see the clocks, something as small as the clocks, the details are being placed out. And what you have here is the cafeteria floor. The cafeteria will be available. We will have our cafeteria tables and our chairs. So students will be able to eat in the cafeteria. The only thing that will not be ready is the hot food that will not be ready at the start of the school year. So I know Mr. Massaro has talked with the HSA about having food trucks and having options for students as well. And of course, we're encouraging students to bring their lunch from home, at least for the start of the school year while we get going. We anticipate having the hot food shortly, but it won't be available at the start. This is the hallway, the guidance conference room. There's our board with our scheduling board. It's nice to see that up. And again, you're starting to see it's looking like our school, like exactly as we remember it. This is the special education area with tables and the chairs and everything that we have there for meeting rooms and for our staff, which is nice. This is our guidance conference table. We have a meeting area with students and parents often. Again, this is our choir room. Mr. Von Glant's piano, Ms. Ofshinsky's piano are there. It's nice to see that as well, Mr. Verdery. So our music department is getting ready to go. Our hallway, this is the sixth grade hallway. Uh, you will notice that the hallway floor is down. The rooms are having the furniture come in. So everything is starting to move forward. This is our nurse's office in the high school, middle school, Ms. Santoro's office. So our desk, the chairs, the waiting room, again, starting to look like a regular school nurse's office. This is another computer lab that we have. So the computers, of course, will be deployed there, chairs, tables, uh, smart boards, uh, whiteboards, and the TV are all there as well. So that's where we're at so far. The pictures look really great. A couple things to mention as we move forward. First off, uh, we are going forward with a full opening. The grades six through 12 will all be attending school on September 6th at the high school. We will not be using St. Therese. We have the use right now of 51 of the 52 classrooms, which we're thrilled about. And we have full classroom, full use of the building. We of course have the auxiliary gym. We have a couple areas that if we need, we could use. Uh, the courtyard outside is still very possible under the gazebo. So even if there's a room or two, or we need an extra classroom here or there, there is no reason to be using St. Therese. So I'm very excited to announce that all grades six to 12 will be in the high school at a regular school opening come September. Uh, we will, of course, still have St. Therese for extracurricular activities and after school, but the building itself will be ready. And we have the muscle wall for mitigation. Uh, we have all these options for classrooms and the main office was being finished today. So everything seems like it's moving forward at the regular pace. So I'm very excited. I've done some interviews with Channel 12 and NBC and we're very happy to be back. So you'll be getting correspondence from us, from Principal Massaro, uh, about the opening in September. We're going to have an opportunity for our sixth, seventh, and eighth graders who have never been in the building to come in and work with their lockers as well. And we're going to have orientation sessions as we normally would. And you'll get details on that shortly from Mr. Massaro. But the building is ready. We're excited. The auditorium and the media center are holding areas. Those are storage areas for us. They will be ready. We're hoping for January right now that they will be ready. But those are the only two areas of the building that will not be open. So uh, when you talk to your children, what you should tell them is that the school year is approaching. 
but that they should be planning grade six to 12 to be in the high school, middle school. We're thrilled about that. And they will not be going to St. Therese and we will be back on our regular full day school schedule. The only changes that of course you have to be aware of are bringing lunch from home. Uh, we'll try to provide some outside uh, vendors as well as much as we can, uh, but they'll have to do that to start the, the first couple weeks probably of school. Uh, we're finalizing technology. Like I said, the last thing we have to work on is closing up the ceiling and the wiring. So we will do that and we will finish that as well. And that will be occurring during the month of September. But what I'm really happy about is that the controls we're working on now, hopefully we will have full AC and heat uh, when we open in September. And if not, we anticipate it occurring a little bit into the, the month of September. So no concerns for October 15th, no concerns for the opening on September 6th we anticipate being back. Sure, there may be some rooms that don't quite have all the, the, the normal things that they're used to seeing in the classroom, but the building is ready. And so I am thrilled to say that we're moving forward and I'm very, very excited about the opportunity to have all of our students back. It truly is going to be a celebration. So overall, again, really positive. And I talked to the reporter today and she asked if I was worried about deadlines. Of course we were, but fortunately, after all the things that this district and this town has been through. What I did see is we got some good luck. We were supposed to have the energy recovery units and the unit events on June 1st and July 1st and August 1st, and all those deadlines were superseded. So, so far, so good. Moving forward, everything is, is on schedule, and I will continue to provide you updates, but you should now, with your children in grades 6 to 12, start looking forward to getting contact from Mr. Massaro in terms of the orientation session for middle school students, locker combinations, things like that, and opening that first day of school. So very excited to see our students and staff back on that first day on September 6th. We'll see staff the week before and they'll be getting the room set up. But uh, again, sorry about technology issues. Any questions, feel free to email when we get back as soon as possible, but all positive and we are moving forward. And I really look forward to having that opening uh, come September 6th. Thank you so much.